Hi guys, this is CV from CV Hydro. I have something here to share with all of you. Uh, this cocoa peat block that you see was given to me by a boot camper who is joining our small format, 1000 square feet uh, learning program for the year 22, 2025, 26. Now, the thing is that we normally supply standard uh, materials that are used during my R&D in turmeric and uh, cocoa peat happens to be one among them. Now this student uh, gave me this block and uh, for the materials he paid but he said nah, I'll uh, use, possibly he thought he will use his own cocoa peat block. Now luckily for me when I had gone to Bangalore he gave me a cocoa peat block that he sourced from some place and he said they are very good and they can we look at export and this and that and all. I said first give me the block and let me test it. So this afternoon I arrived from Bangalore to Palakkad to my place. I came to my shop directly and I said I can't waste time. Let me check what is the condition of this block. How how good is it? What you see there is a cocoa peat block. It's a 5 kilo cocoa peat block that's been put into a tub of water. And I have on, I had poured 3 liters of water, 2 mugs of 1.5 liters each. Even after all that, the, the cocoa peat block has not even absorbed 200 ml of that water or maybe 400 ml of the water. And you can see at the bottom, the what you see the slurry out there, that is the cocoa pit which came off the block and is still with the water. It's now one hour almost that I have kept this cocoa pit block in the water, and not there is it is looking like as if it's already got super saturated. Or normally when it gets super saturated, you find extra water coming out. What is the moral of the story? Moral of the story is that. As you know, we always tell the truth about hydroponics and these are the causes of great failures in Indian uh, soilless uh, industry. Uh, sometimes we think, okay, this is cheap and you know, the price is low, so I'll go there, I'll buy it. I'm not saying that this student wanted to do that, but anyway, he was kind enough to ask me to test it. And uh, I brought it all the way from Bangalore and uh, I'm testing it. I haven't even gone to the point where we test the EC and pH. If I do the EC and pH testing, God only knows what will be the EC and pH of this cocoa peat. But I'll still do it. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that one must never, never, never buy cocoa peat from a trader. A trader has absolutely no understanding of what the cocoa peat is, what, is, what properties it should have, and how it can help or uh, damage a farmer's crop. Like I always say, there are four very important non-compromisable things that no soilless farmer must do one is water quality seed quality nutrient quality and media quality you may do three things right and one thing you miss out you will have disaster so it's good that the student gave me and i thank that student for asked me to test it because had he gone for this cocoa peat he and in the coming year 25 26 in his learning he would have had a massive disaster Imagine he was he's doing a thousand square feet where he needs only 60 blocks or so and had he been doing a commercial one acre format of 8,250 grow bags which means close to 21 tons of cocoa peat, this man would have lost money tremendously and his crop would have been nothing. So guys, all those who practice hydroponics, this is CV from CV Hydro. We only know how to tell the truth about hydroponics. Please do not make this mistake ever of buying cocoa peat from a trader and if you buy from a trader he doesn't care a damn and at the end of the day he makes his money he makes his profit like i always say everybody in agriculture makes money except the farmer so here is a living example example right in front of you i'll be testing the ec and ph as well whatever i can and i'll be able to tell you in an hour or so or at a later date but uh, Please keep in mind that cocoa peat quality has to be A1. Otherwise, any crop can go for a toss and you'll lose all your money. This is the reason why in India most of the cocoa, I mean most of the soilless farms are failing. One of the reasons is because they don't have such kind of information that we give to the farmers. Please do not compromise at all on what you should not. And this is a good learning, I hope, for everybody. This is CV from CV Hydro signing off. Thank you very much for listening in and Godspeed, good luck, have a nice day, bye.